we're going to talk about the important gastrointestinal ligaments. And here you can see the gastrointestinal tract. I have some vessels, ligaments, spleen. So if we just zoom a little bit, you can see here is a parsifal ligament which connects the liver to the anterior abdominal wall. This one contains the teresepatis, that is a remnant of the umbilical vein, always ask, very high yield. Then we're gonna go to another ligament. Let's see. Now, if we are selecting the patogastric ligament. This one connects the liver with the lesser curvature of the stomach, of the stomach. Now, you can see here, we're gonna select, this one contains some gastric vessels in it. So, now we're gonna check the hepatic triad, which is in the patoduodenal ligament now I select it and it is a hepatic triad has three main structures the patoduodenal ligament connects the liver with the duodenum well the hepatic triad has the proper hepatic artery which now I'm gonna select that's the proper hepatic artery. Then you see the hepatic portal vein and the bile duct, common bile duct. So now we're gonna go to another ligament, which is a little bit smaller, and it's inside the great and contains this gastroepiploic vessels, arteries, and connects, uh, the ligament connect the greater curvature of the stomach with the transfer colon. You can see the transfer colon there. And it's inside the, the momentum, the great momentum. Now we'll see the gastrosplenic ligament is composed of the short gastric and left gastroepiploic vessels. Now I'm going to select it, the left gastromental artery. This will be the gastrosplenic ligament. Now we're going to go to another ligament that is the splenorenal ligament contains three vessels. The splenic artery, which is part of the celiac trunk, the splenic vein, and the tail of the pancreas. That's the splenorenal ligament, and it connects the, the spleen with the posterior wall. Now I selected the pancreas, and I show you the tail of the pancreas is part of the splenorenal ligament. This is the splenic vein and the splenic artery. Just remarking it a little bit. Now the gastromental artery of the gastrosplenic ligament, which connect with the greater curve of the stomach and the spleen. Now I'm gonna show you the gastroepiploic ligament. You can see the gastroepiploic arteries and then you see the transfer colon which is inside there. This is the gastropathic ligament connecting the liver and the gastric laser curvature. Now you see the falciform ligament 
Ne pa tudi ne, dva dve na ligamentu.